It's a hidden chapter that shook the gaming industry, and a once digital secret that would be leaked, becoming a real world scandal. This is the stormy waters of the GTA San Andreas hot coffee mod, a train of controversy that brought regulators and the law come running. Alright, let's rewind a bit, back to 2005. GTA San Andreas was the game, a masterpiece in its own right, but beneath its chaos and virtual lawlessness lay a hidden mystery, something literally no one expected. You see, it all started with a simple coffee invite from a digital date. Harmless enough, right? Wrong. But then a modder discovered something astonishing. Dude was probably like, imagine my shock. That seemingly innocent invitation was actually the gateway to something much, much more controversial. The Hot Coffee mod was born, a hidden mini game that shifted the conversation from gaming innovation to an ethical dilemma. Ratings changed, lawsuits followed, and parents were horrified. Except their kids probably shouldn't have been playing it anyway. I definitely wasn't allowed to play San Andreas, but I found a way. The fallout from the discovery was, let's just say, massive. Rockstar was facing legal action, the game's rating was completely changed by the regulators and copies were pulled from the shelves. But why did all this happen? How did something hidden within the game result in a real world crisis? Well, the real lesson here is not just about a game's content, but about transparency and the responsibility game developers have to their audience. It's a story that had a pretty big impact on modern ethics and standards in the gaming industry and how it's audited nowadays. But what does this mean for you? You might think this has nothing to do with you. In fact, perhaps this story made you avoid GTA San Andreas altogether, or perhaps you're frantically googling right now to try to download the mod. Don't do that. Well, whatever type you are, this is a reminder that games have a pretty big influence and back in the kosher days of the early 2000s, this was a big deal. This was more than just a bunch of hidden code. It ended up being a real story of growth, challenge, change and understanding. But what led Rockstar Games to create this content in the first place? Were they pushing the envelope or was this just a misunderstood mistake or a rogue developer stunt? Well, Rockstar wasn't always all about milking the same game for 10 years. Early Rockstar were about innovation and taking risks, dropping games like The Warriors and Manhunt. Some argue it was just a hidden easter egg that wasn't meant to even see the light of day, whilst others think it was just an intentional act meant to provoke. The truth? Well, it's complex and fascinating. Imagine being one of the developers in the legal firestorm, with lawsuits, complaints from parents and the aggressive onslaught from the press, an uncharted territory hard to navigate. But the end resolution was less of a legality but more of a cultural shift, a realisation that games aren't just for play. Even though years have passed at this point, the legacy the legacy of the controversy is still brewing and it's an example of just how crazy people can get when emotions are involved, especially in situations like this. What do you think? GTA has always been a game for older people, but did they go too far with this? Let me know in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe to show me you had a good experience and I'll see you real soon.